Hey folks, it's Lil Riley coming at you once again with another car cast in Nashville, Tennessee. Today is Tuesday, July the 29th, 2009. I am actually headed to a meeting, but just wanted to take a second to catch up with you guys. Uh, my last video, you saw me getting down in the gym. That's what I do when I'm in there, I work hard, you know, uh, and that's the way it's supposed to be. But I'm just driving and uh, what's on my mind is, uh, you know, there are a lot of things that are changing with me. Uh, I, for myself, can begin to see a, uh, a change in my body. You know, my clothes are fitting more loose. Uh, and now that I think about it, and it was early this morning, a friend of mine said, well, you know, because I, I was disappointed when at my last weigh-in. And uh, I think that was pretty visible, even though I tried to maintain a, a happy face. But um, what I forgot to credit or, or to bring into the fold was the possibility of losing inches you know my clothes were fitting differently by that video but I did not consider well you know it's possible to lose inches but not lose a lot of weight because you know and as uh, one of my um, friends on YouTube who checks up my videos were telling me that you know you might have been building muscle mass which could very well be the case you know and that's part of the reason why I, I, I'm not necessarily so heavy on jumped up on the scale but at the same time I understand you know there's a big picture as to why I'm doing this blog and I know that at some level it is important to measure uh, my progress so but if I wasn't doing this blog I just exercise and you know I'd look up one day in some clothes that didn't fit uh, several months ago when it start fitting then I'd know that I'm doing well but uh, let me let me tell you this and this is you know again uh, From the most honest place. I can give it to you from you know what's happened to me Somewhat last week, but really beginning this week is the cravings that I had for certain foods Aren't there anymore, you know, and you know and if you you love food like I love food You know what I'm talking about when you got to have that that chocolate however you consume your chocolate You want your chocolate that way. I haven't had that you know, or that sweet tooth that you have. And I had an affinity for uh, pancakes, you know, and I know for a fact, I mentioned that in, a, in, a, in one of my first videos, love pancakes. And my desire for that is not here, at least in the right now, or at least this week, you know? And it's like, you know, when I watched myself in the last weigh-in, the first thing I mentioned was, well, I think I'm going to fix something to eat. I got some shrimp. Now, shrimp is a comfort food uh, for me. Uh, however, that doesn't show up too bad when it comes to your caloric intake and, and your health meter. And I literally, I did make that stir fry. I had a pot full of vegetables or a wok full of vegetables, and I tossed those shrimp around. So I was able to get my comfort food, but I was able to prepare it in such a way that wasn't detrimental uh, to the work that I had put forth. So I noticed that. You know, and again, I said uh, in an early video, I had to realize that I'm an emotional either, you know, and, and so and, and let that be the case. So now it's a matter of putting things in place to prevent me from messing up the work that I put forth. I guarantee you it only takes about a couple of weeks and I can put the weight back on that I've lost so far. I know that for a fact. That's easy. Done it before. But just wanted to share it with you guys. So that's what I'm experiencing. The cravings that I had are no longer there. My focus is becoming much more acute. And my, my, my drive and my passion to get to where I want to be has increased since I started. You know? So, just sharing that with you. And if you are on your journey, I hope that you get to the place. If you're beginning a journey, if you started your journey when it comes to health and weight loss, I hope you get to this place that I'm feeling right now because then you truly understand where I am. And if you've been here, then I'm just reminding you what that's like. But the cravings aren't there like they were. I dare say anymore, but the cravings really ain't there, you know? So, but I tell you what, I tell you what, one quick piece, I have been drinking water. I have not had a carbonated drink outside of an energy drink, outside of the excess energy drink. And I haven't had many of those this particular week, but I have been drinking water. I drink water and I add those Nutrilite twist tubes to flavor the water uh, when I when I want to have a taste in it. But when you remove that amount of sugar that I was consuming 
with, with just fruit juices, you know, that takes away a lot of that craving. I know for a fact that that has a lot to do with it. There's the exercise, there's removal of, uh, uh, of, of, the, of the constant amount of sugars or the, the, the main sugar source of our diet probably came from the juices that I drank, okay? So that's been removed and uh, I'm feeling better. So hopefully I didn't waste your time <laughs> with this post uh, and, and I was able to make a point, but I just give it to you the way this stuff comes to mind. And sometimes there's several thoughts all at once and I speak on them all at once, go figure. So hey, this is Lou Riley signing off with another car cast. I'm Passion, that's for airport. Give you guys a peek. Hopefully you can see it. I won't know what this looks like till I get the camera back. And uh, hey man, stay focused, keep working hard and your hard work is gonna pay off. Just keep your head down and keep going forward. This is O'Reilly, bye for now. There have been times in my life I've been wondering why Still somehow I believe We've always surfed